<laughs> Wait, Angelina, stop following me! Stop! Stop! So you've already made your meta human, and now you want to animate the face. You want to make it smile or frown. You want to make it talk like you, but you don't know how to do it. Today, we are going to show you exactly how you can animate the face of your meta human. All you need is just your phone. And did he tell you that it's free and it only takes like 10 minutes? Let's go and find out. Should we? Let's go. Oh, wait, 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 one thing, if you have no idea what we're talking about and you still don't have your metahuman, we have a tutorial right here that shows you exactly how to create a clone metahuman that looks like you. Check that out if you haven't already. And now, you're going to learn how to connect your phone to Unreal Engine 5, how to record your facial animation using the take recorder, then we're going to teach you how to fix the most annoying bug with metahumans, and lastly, how to fix the missing hair issue that everybody faces. Let's get it. Here are the steps you need to take. Open an Unreal Engine project. Go to Edit, Plugins, and make sure Live Link is enabled. Now, go to Quickset Bridge and download your MetaHuman. Drag and drop your MetaHuman into your scene. And now we need to set up Live Link on your phone. So download the Live Link Face app from your App Store. Now open the app, go to Settings, then tap Live Link at the top. Here, you need to type down your IP address of the internet you're using. If you don't know how to get it, just open Command Center on your computer and type down ipconfig. Look for the IPv4 address. Remember, both your phone and your computer have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And the better the connection, the smoother the real-time experience will be. We are now in Unreal Engine 5 with our MetaHuman, Angelina. We got rid of the default lighting because with the default lighting, our MetaHuman would look a little bit fake. Yeah. So right now, the first thing we're gonna do is make sure our phone is connected. Let's go to Windows and let's go to Virtual Production and Live Link. Here, you should already see your phone connected. If you've done the steps that we told you earlier in the video, which means making sure the IP address of your computer and your phone, the LiveLink app, is the same and you're on the same network, this should work just fine. So as long as you see the tick on your phone, you're good to go. Next, we're gonna select the MetaHuman and make sure the blueprint of the MetaHuman is selected here. Come down to the settings, just gonna pull this up. And the first thing you're going to see is the use AR kit face. We're gonna tick that to enable it. And Farhad, you can start recording here. So now, as soon as we choose the iPhone, we should see Angelina's face move. It's really as simple as that. iPhone, and boom. Oh my <laughs> God. I think Angelina will get a heart attack seeing that I'm imitating her face. Look at that. Look at that. Can you move your neck? Move your head? Blink? Smile? Frown, there you go. Now the next thing we gotta do is make sure you can record the facial animation. Of course, every single time you wanna have animation, you need to have a sequencer. A sequencer is your timeline. So let's go ahead and make one by going to the top here, add level sequence. We're just gonna open a new folder, call it sequence. And we're gonna call it Angelina, Angelina face anim. Okay, now that we have the sequencer, we wanna add the meta human in there right because we're animating the meta human so click on your meta human and then go to track actor the sequencer add bp alternatively you can just drag and drop this is just like adding a camera to your sequencer right just like adding anything right yeah. this is like the 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 only way you can animate things in in unreal engine 5 and render them out whatever animation power does right now it's not going to translate into uh, a timeline we're going to need to use something called the take recorder to record the facial animation and then bring it into the sequencer. How we do that is by going to Window, Cinematics, Take Recorder. The Take Recorder needs to have the face. And we do that by going to Source, From Actor, and here we're gonna add Angelina. The same way we add Angelina to the sequencer. Exact same way, right? Now, we need to tell the Take Recorder to just record the face animation. So we're gonna click on Angelina, and we're gonna go down here. We're gonna open the blueprint. We're gonna open the root and body. Essentially speaking, we do not need the feet. We do not need the legs. We do not need the torso. We do need the face. So this is just telling it ho. Ho. <laughs> this is just telling Unreal Engine, yo, <laughs> not ho. <laughs> Monetization, ho. baby. <laughs> this is just telling Unreal Engine, yo. All we need to record is a face animation. So untick the rest. Go ahead and name your scene. We're gonna call it 
uh, face anim one. This is gonna be take one. And this is gonna record at 24 frames. Let's do 30. Let's three, go. two, one. one. Wait, wait, sorry. There's a three, two, one here. One, two, three, ah. mm. and we're good. Okay, just like that. My mistake, when you hit the record button, there's gonna be a three second countdown. Just make sure you count that in your head. And now we have a facial animation recorded. For my own sake, I'm just gonna disable the AR kit so the neck comes back. Since Farhad exited the application, we don't need to use the live link anymore. Now we can remove the take recorder as well. All right, now we have to open our sequencer. I'm gonna go to our sequencer. Now what we gotta do is add in the animation that Farah just recorded. And we have to do that with the face. So there's a body and a face. We're gonna choose a face. There's already a control rig when you click on it. Since we do not need to control the face and we don't want that to mess with our animation, we're going to remove that by just hitting delete. Boom, just like that. And then in the add icon right here, beside the face, we're gonna go to animation. You should end up with two animations right now. One, which is the default one that comes with every meta human to test the different ranges of motion on the face. And the one that you just recorded, which is the face anim one. When you click that, you have now in your timeline the face animation. You ready? Boom. Let's go. Boom. One, one two, two, three. three. Yeah, it works. Perfect. There you go. Now we can export it and render it. So there is this common bug that a lot of people have faced in and I've seen it all over social media. The eyebrows, eyelashes are detached from the face. So when you're moving your face of your meta human, the eyebrows, the eyelashes, they don't move. It's, it's freaking annoying, right? But there's an easy fix to that. The reason that happens is because the, the binding that attaches these hair follicles to the face is essentially lost for some reason. So in case that happens, we're gonna show you how to fix that. We're gonna go to the Meta Humans folder where Angelina is saved in the content browser. And we're just gonna open her blueprint right here. We're gonna go to viewport so we can see her. I'm just gonna go closer to her. You can see on the left side that we have her face and within her face, we have the eyelashes fuzz, which is the peach fuzz, the eyebrows, hair, mustache, beard. And for a guy, you probably have the mustache and beard getting detached as well. So how this actually works is in the eyelashes, for example, there is, if you go to the right side, the detail, there's the groom asset. So this here is the eyelash hair itself. And there's a binding asset that connects the eyelash to the face. So sometimes this gets lost and we're gonna we're gonna lose it right now. I'm just gonna fucking get rid of it, okay? All right, so now we have the eyelashes, but it's not there, okay? So assuming that's the case, we're gonna teach you how to go ahead and fix that. We're gonna go to the content browser. Within the Angelina folder, this is where we should be able to find her eyebrows. Female hair? No, uh, yes, eyelashes. Eyelashes, L curl, there you go, eyelashes. You can alternatively just search it here, so eyelash, eyelashes, there you go, okay. So we have our eyelashes here. And how we're gonna do that is, you're gonna find the eyelashes, and you're gonna drag and drop it in the groom asset. And sometimes, even if you do that, the binding asset is not there. So we're gonna create a new binding asset, all right? Assuming that's lost. You're gonna right click your eyelashes, and you're gonna hit create binding. And in the target skeletal mesh, you're gonna find Angelina's face, which is right there at the top. But if it's not, you can just search Angelina, the name of your meta human. Click it and create binding. And just like that, you did that. Just make sure you save this and then exit it. And in your content browser, you should now have a new binding asset for your eyelashes, which should be this one. You're gonna drag and drop that onto the binding asset and just like that, you're gonna get your eyelashes back. It's annoying, but this is the fix that we found. So if this happens to you, now you know how to fix it. So metahumans are heavy models and for them to look real and perform well on any machine, they have LODs, so levels of detail. So when you move the camera back, the quality actually drops and the hair disappears. And sometimes when you're taking a shot from far away, you don't want that to happen. Click on your metahuman, Go all the way down in the details to LOD sync. So every meta human is going to have this. This is just the levels of detail, right? So we're gonna just say, hey, all the levels of detail go to one and one, okay? And you see, even from far away now, the quality is going to stay the same. 
Now, of course, this is gonna be more intense for your machines, but... But if you need a shot from far away, that's the way to go. Yeah, so if you're like recording like from this angle, it's weird if the hair is not there, yeah. right? Yo, Farah. Yo, looks like somebody knows how to animate metahuman faces now. But do they know that this was only part two of the series, Create Your Own Metahuman? And it doesn't end here. Over the next few days, we are gonna show you how to customize the mesh, the texture, the, the hair. hair of your metahumans. But that's not all, there's a lot more. So if you want it, make sure you subscribe, motherfucker.